Hey guys, Bearded Nate, welcome back to the channel. In this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at my second Ace Graden submission. Cards arrived this morning, it took 30 days, and I only sent 5 cards this time instead of 10 from my previous video. Let's not waste any more time, let's get this box open and see what grades we got. Let's go. Okay, so I've opened the box. We've got our five cards here. So from memory, we should have my original Charizard, Venusaur and Blastoise from my childhood collection, plus the Venusaur from Celebrations and uh, a Japanese red card that had the Bulbasaur in it. So I'm really excited to see what that card back with. So let's take a look at this first card i'm going to try my best to hide the grade let's see what card it is to start with okay it's the celebrations pikachu what bro what are you talking about man so all five cards i just asked for the standard label on rather than any of the fancy ones just because i think they're better um although looking back maybe i should have got the venusaur celebration so we estimated this to be a grade 10. It was pack fresh. Uh, so let's take a look and see what we got. Yes, there we go. We got the Venusaur Celebrations Gem Mint 10. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm over the moon with that. I cannot wait to put that on the shelving behind me uh, and be part of the all of my other collection. That is absolutely spectacular. I am so, so happy with that. Let's zoom out just a tiny bit. There we go. Um, so yeah, there we go. The Venusaur 25th Anniversary Celebrations card in a Gem Mint 10. Okay, so the next card is the Japanese card. Uh, from memory, I believe this card is called Red's Challenge. So it's got red on it uh, along with the Bulbasaur. Uh, I don't really collect Japanese cards, but just the fact that this card had the Bulbasaur on. I'm not sure if it's um, purely a Japanese only card. I'm not sure if it ever came to the West, but... I love Bulbasaur and I just had to pick this card up. So we estimated this card, let me just check my notes, we estimated this as a 9 because from memory, if I try and turn this over, uh, it did have a bit of a ding on the bottom of the card. You can't really, can't really see it because of the ace label is in the way, but just behind this label there was a slight ding to the card so it was never going to get that ace grading 10 um but we estimated a nine hopefully everything else was fine with the card apart from that so let's take a look and see what grade we got ah oh, mm. near mint to mint eight that is unfortunate but still i'm absolutely so over the moon with having this card in my collection even at an eight um and it's just for absolutely fantastic i'll keep this in my collection for a long time coming absolutely fantastic okay so uh the next three cards are from my personal collection all the way back to 1999 to 2000 when i started collecting pokemon cards uh this one is quite obviously Bo uh, blastoise so let's let's take a look at the blastoise first i'm assuming the way that they've done this they've probably left the charizard until last let's take a look at this and see what how Blastoise got and see if we can get that Ace Label 1. So as you remember, uh, the card looked like it had been through a war. There's a huge crease right down there on the on the left-hand side or the right-hand side as you're looking at it now in the back corners. Just a bit of whitening going around the edges. Not too bad, but let's turn it over. Try to hide that grade. And yeah, as you can see, the front doesn't look too bad from a distance um but yeah absolutely shambles so we estimated a ace lay uh, an ace grade of one let's see if that's what it got yes poor i know what you're thinking why am i cheering for a one but you know a one is a, it's difficult if you get a two or three then yeah that's okay but having a one or a ten you know it's the bottom and the top end of the scale so having a one I'm absolutely, absolutely over the moon with that, really. I couldn't, uh, I was kind of, I was really hoping it would become a one. So that's absolutely great. I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, so there we go. The 1999 to 2000 base Blastoise Hollow, number two in the set. This is from base set two. Um, a one, an absolute poor condition. 
But yeah, I mean, like, I couldn't have asked for anything else, really. That is absolutely great. Just to have it slabbed. That's the only reason I sent it. Some people will think, what a waste of money. The card is absolutely in poor condition. But just to have my childhood card slabbed, even in the condition that it's in, is, uh, is worth the money to me. Okay, on to the penultimate card. I can only assume that this is probably going to be the Venusaur. It is, indeed. It is the Venusaur. So if we look back to our last video, condition-wise, it wasn't great. It was better than the Charizard and the Blastoise, I think, overall. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. So condition-wise, it's not too bad. I think the back's probably got a bit of scuff to it from memory. Um, but again, I just wanted to get these cards graded just because they were my childhood cards. So we pre-graded this Venusaur as an ace grading six, but I think that was me being a bit help, uh, hopeful. So let's take a look and see what we got. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> that is a lot worse than I assumed. Okay, so only a two. It's fair. It's all right. Um, wow, okay, so I'm, I'm quite shocked by that really because I didn't think it was it was awful. I'm mean, like, yeah, it's got quite a bit of scuff up here. But I thought, you know, the centering's bad. There is a lot of, I guess there is a lot of whitening, but condition-wise, I didn't think, looking at it, I can't see that many scratches on the actual hollow itself. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I'm, not a, an, I'm not an expert grader, so they, they gave it a two for a reason. Um, maybe the Charizard will get a three and I'll have a one, two, three. Uh, so yeah, okay, the Venusaur from base set, 1999 base Venusaur Hollow, number 15, got a two, a, an ace grading two, which is a fair grade. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Here is the last card that I submitted. So this is my original base set Charizard. Not first edition, not shadowless, just the unlimited uh, Charizard from base set. From memory, if you go back and look at the video, the condition of this was really bad. I didn't think it was as uh, I didn't think it was as bad as the Blastoise, uh, but it was a lot. No, what am I trying to say? I didn't think it was as good as the Venusaur, but definitely not as bad as the Blastoise. Um, but bear in mind the Venusaur only got a two, so I can only assume that this Char if this Charizard gets more than a two, then something something's going wrong at Ace because the Venusaur, in my eyes, was a lot better condition than this Charizard. Uh, so let's just take a look at the back. As you can see, a lot of whitening up on the top and down the sides. Uh, so let's take a look at the front. Uh, Condition-wise, again, I mean, like it's really, it's really not the best. Uh, you can see all my fingerprints coming up on the case. Uh, Centering-wise, it looks pretty good. There is a lot of silvering on the edges, especially down here. Uh, but yeah, so we. <laughs> I estimated that the Charizard could potentially get a 5, but bearing in mind I said the Venusaur would, I'd be quite happy with the Venusaur getting a 6, uh, I don't think this is going to get a 5. So let's reveal what the last card got graded. A 2! There we go, so I was right out of it. Let's just move that bit of dirt there. Okay, so, I mean like, this is why I'm not a uh, uh, an official grader for Ace Grading, because I would have given the Charizard and the Venusaur a hell of a lot better grade than this. So only a two, which again is fair for the Charizard. Maybe I should have sent these to PSA, um, but at the prices that they're quoting at the moment, no thank you. I just, I, I'm not looking at selling these, I'm just keeping them in my collection. So yes, there's the Charizard in a fair two. Venusaur got a fair two. The Blastoise got a, an ace grading one, which is four absolutely terrible there you go guys there is my childhood collection of the base set kanto starters i'm absolutely happy that they're finally slabbed they're going to be protected for the rest of their life now even in the condition that they are i don't think the blastoise could potentially have gotten that much worse but yeah overall i'm really really happy with the grades we've got the reds challenge and the venusaur there as well i'm a bit disappointed the reds challenge only got an eight and not a nine I'm over the moon with the Venusaur celebrations coming back gem mint 10. So that'll be it guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be sending some more cards off soon once I've figured out exactly which cards I'm going to be sending. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like and a comment and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.